Don in London, hello. It's March the 6th, 2010. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My addictive substance, alcohol, my behaviour, equally addictive. Work, relationships, material things, collecting, you name it. I was a very good consumer and always trying to fix myself to feel better about me and my life. And the problem with fixing with external things always is that they're external to us. We don't have that internal barometer of well-being. Something didn't happen when I was young. I didn't learn how to live life that well. So if I conformed, fit, fitted in, was compatible in the sense of trying to be whatever I thought I ought to be rather than actually finding out who I want to be or need to be on a daily basis. I felt I would fit in and what made it possible to take away the fear of not being good enough, feeling less than, simply was alcohol. From the very first drink it changed the way I felt. So if we find something which changes the way we feel and helps us overcome fear, uh, it's like taking some medicine in a funny sort of way. But the problem is we keep on chasing those feelings of being okay, the joyfulness or the sadness, whatever it was, it was probably at the extremes of behaviour. We needed something to fix. And these days I've found it's easier to face life than fix it. So what helps me? Well, friends, family, community kept me alive long enough to have a moment of clarity to understand if my life was ever going to work, I needed to find a way out of the trap I was in. And that trap, for me, is addiction. Addiction can be something anybody can get, but some of us maybe are predisposed and have these fears of not fitting in. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Why ever or however, why ever? No such word. However we found ourselves in addiction, it doesn't matter. It's then what we can do about it on a daily basis to keep in recovery. So, once an addict, always an addict, in my view, and I know that's not necessarily held by every medical person. I've had a medical opinion which says, you're recovered, so you can do what you like. Another medical opinion which says, no, you're not recovered, you're in recovery, so it's best not to go back to old behaviour, don't you think? And I tend to agree with them. And I found a fellowship, Alcoholics Anonymous, which agrees that it's better not to try and control something which got out of control and became an addiction. So I'm with those who feel it's a one-day program of recovery, and that's the fellowship of AA. So in this one-day program, what helps me, people in fellowship, the actual tools of the fellowship, 12 steps of action to keep me changing my attitude and behaviour on a daily basis to the good of living rather than the fixing of living. So I'm an absolute fan of AA. It saved my life and the people in it every single day offer friendship, fellowship and it helps me. So I share about AA here in my videos of recovery and a little bit about my story. And for me it's been a good morning. Uh, my mother, my auntie and my sister came to visit to see my foot as much as anything and see me too. My auntie's down from Yorkshire. So it was good to see her and she's promising to come back again. It's all good. I'm sober today and able to enjoy their company and just be a part of. That's wonderful. Sounds like the local cop shop have a few things to do this morning. Anyway, what is AA? Well, I share the AA preamble or statement of intent, which is on this little card here. And I read it because to recite it means that I can be forgetful about the meaning. Recitation is not necessarily the answer here, although repetitive recitation is probably called prayer, and prayer does work, and that's part of what today is about too. So what is AA? Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. Does not wish to engage in any controversy. 
neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. So, a desire to stop drinking, as I shared with my family just earlier, it's a desire to stop drinking, no more, no less. That's the only qualification for going to AA. And uh, sus I'm suspicious that some people go to AA because it's a very social place to be, where people don't drink and we learn how to interact without having to fix ourselves. But that's okay too. So on this little card it also has the 12 steps of the program and the 12 traditions. And the 12 steps, well, March is the third month and uh, step three is where I, I, I concentrate using this book here, Daily Reflections, to illustrate what step three can be for me and how it reads. And it reads like this. It says, made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God to the care of God as we understood him and when it said we understood him I always thought that meant everybody had the same understanding and we don't six and a half billion people on the planet six and a half billion understandings of what God may be because we don't all think exactly the same and that's the gift so you know a higher power helping me sort out my life and for me that's truth love and the wisdom of others so I have plenty of high pa higher power in my life and I think we are all in the same boat no matter whether we're in fellowship or not we get wisdom where wisdom is so in this book Daily Reflections it talks about the idea of faith and this is again a personal thing faith in living faith in being faith in being able to face and cope with what is happening to us so when it says here that the idea of faith do not let any prejudice you may have against spiritual terms deter you from honestly asking yourself what they mean. The idea of faith is a very large chunk to swallow when fear, doubt and anger abound in and around me. Sometimes just the idea of doing something different, something I am not accustomed to doing, can eventually become an act of faith if I do it regularly and do it without debating whether it's the right thing to do. When a bad day comes along and everything is going wrong, a meeting or a talk with another drunk often distracts me just enough to persuade me that everything is not quite as impossible, as overwhelming as I had thought. In the same way, going to a meeting or t talking to a fellow alcoholic are acts of faith. I believe I am arresting my disease, that is, staying in recovery. These are ways I slowly move toward faith in a higher power. And for me, you know, the, the idea that there was a power greater than me was knocked on the head, if you like, when my father had a nervous breakdown through drinking and overwork. And guess what happened to me? I had a nervous breakdown from overwork and then drinking. So, however we get there to this, this thing of faith, faith in nature, providence, life happening around us, if we can feel included in some way, and the fellowship was my ticket back into living in society. It was helping me understand how to relate to other people when I had lost the ability to relate to anything. So faith, courage and confidence are often my shortcomings. When fear, brave facing and ego comes into the picture. So if I'm fearful, putting on a brave face and ego, my faith is low, my confidence is low and my esteem is down the pan. So. I have to be careful. And what gives me faith, courage and confidence? Fellowship, family, community, being a part of, learning how to love others and be loved back and do something useful on a daily basis. So my usefulness this morning, I made tea for my family. I've got more family in another place and uh, my brother and his family. I hope to see them soon as well. So all good, being connected again, through faith, courage and self-esteem. The serenity prayer I share at the end of these videos is to God, a higher power, good conscience, you name it, it's your choice. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference is for me, just for today.